going on comrades? General Tony here coming back with the first episode of the day and I not only have something entertaining for you but I have something that's going to help every single one of you out. So I'm pretty damn sure over the last year one of the most asked questions inside of this game, pretty standard though, pretty standard, has been how can I get as much Dark Elixir as possible in as little time as possible? What is the most optimal method to farm Dark Elixir? So I am going to break it down for you in today's episode. I'm going to try and provide you with proof Hardcore proof guys, hardcore, you know what I'm talking about? Hardcore proof on the best method to get Dark Elixir ASAP. So basically what we're going to be doing is breaking down different attack strategies. We are going to be taking these attack strategies onto the battlefield. We're going to see which one of them works the best, how much each of them costs in terms of Dark Elixir. Damn, my, my accent just went a little bit weird there. How much each one of them costs in terms of Dark Elixir. And then we're going to balance all of them out at the end and see which one is the best method to use. So it's going to help you tunnel 7s, 8s, 9s and of course 10s. So we are about to get ourselves into the first raid. As I said, every single one of these troop compositions is going to be different. Some are going to cost a little bit more Dark Elixir. Some may cost no Dark Elixir. But at the end of the day, it's not about how much Dark Elixir it costs to build the army. It's about how much you make. How much revenue of the Dark Elixir are you taking back home? So just before we get into the first one, we are going to start today's shout out. La, 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 la. So if you want to win today's shout out, it's going to be pretty standard guys. I oh, know I don't think we've ever done this before actually. I want you to take a guess in the comment section down below how many days, is it days? Yeah, how many days and how many hours are left on this king upgrade? Let me know any social media that you want to shout out for. This is going to be for only a $10 gift card, not $25, just $10 guys. So we're not going to waste any more time. We are about to get ourselves into the first raid. Enjoy. Alright, alright, first raid coming up. Now there are some rules that I'm about to tell you. The king is obviously down for upgrade, so there's going to be no king inside of every single one of these raids. We're going to try and limit the amount of spells we use. Not dark spells, we can use as many dark spells as we want because they use dark elixir. We are going to try and limit the amount of elixir spells we use. So inside of this raid, we're going to start pretty much standard right off the barge, except we're using wall breakers. And we've got some uh, earthquake spells, sorry, not wall breakers, wall breakers, earthquake spells and wall breakers. So we are about to get ourselves in. Now remember, please remember, this is all about how much Dark Elixir we spend and how much we take home. We're then going to take the amount that we take home and subtract the amount that we spend. So we're spending here maybe about 400 Dark Elixir, just shy of 400, about 360, no, 320 Dark Elixir on those four Earthquake spells, which isn't bad. It's honestly not bad because if we do manage to enter into the center, we are going to be taking home over 1600 Dark Elixir. So it's a pretty standard attack strategy. We use the Earthquake spells to open up the base and allow us to penetrate hardcore style, guys. We got the Barbarians, the Barbs, and the Archers, of course, following in behind. We use the Barbarians, not the Barbarians, the Wall Breakers, sorry, to break open those level 7 walls. The Queen has then been sent in and she has already gained access to the Black Gold, which basically means with her ability still to use, we are guaranteed every penny of that guy's Dark Elixir. Pretty much rinsed his base. Now the Queen has made it into the center. And to be honest, guys, for a Barch attack with no King, this is no King, bear in mind. So this is like a Town Hall 7 attack. And obviously my Archers and Barbarians are a high level. But switch a King and the Queen around, yeah, pretty much a Town Hall 7 attack in. Town Hall 8, maybe Town Hall 9. Okay, I'm a Town Hall 10, guys. Chill out, chill out. No hate, no hate. So you can pretty much see we have managed to do a decent job on this base. Done quite a lot of damage to it. I mean, for a barge attack, as I said, it's got right in there. It's done what needed to be done. And we got all of the loot. So that is pretty much where the raid ends. Left a little bit of gold and elixir on the table. But remember, this is DE farming only. Gold and elixir farming is a completely different kettle of fish. So the raid in total cost us 320 Dark Elixir, minus that from the 1612 means we are taking home 1312 Elixir from a simple Barch attack. Okay, now we are going to start to go into a few more, maybe slightly complex attack strategy. So we're going to be using a Jigo Wipe, guys. Jigo Wipe? Is that right? G wipe. No, G wipe, not G go wipe. So instead of using golems, obviously, because level 5 golems are 750 dark elixir. So instead of using them, yeah, please, guys, no hate. I know my giants are only level 5. They are currently going to level 6. Well, in the next few hours. Don't hate. Don't hate. Appreciate what I'm doing for you here today, guys. So I know they're only level 5, but don't worry. We've got some max level giants inside of our clan castle. So once again, this is going to see how much dark elixir it costs to spend and then how much we're going to be able to take home. Now, obviously, with an army like this you are going to be able to take on a better base with the botch attack that we used 
maybe would have got fried inside of this base because of the level 7 and 8 wizard towers. Sorry, level 6 and 7 wizard towers. Wizard towers, even on barbarians, absolutely melt them, guys. There's no way around it. Barge units cannot withstand any wizard towers anymore. So any form of splash damage is going to annihilate any sort of barge attack, including the wall breakers. So here we go, we are going to use a heal spell. Now I know I said that we're going to limit the amount of elixir spells, but I really did want to make our way into the center of the base there and get as much of the elixir as well as the dark elixir as possible. So I did decide to use a heal spell. And to be honest, the giants, I know most of them are level 5. Giants just kind of suck ass, guys. Unless your giants are level 6, I would not really suggest using this attack strategy at all. Unless you are raiding Town Hall 7s, maybe a few weaker Town Hall 8s. But even Town Hall 8s are going to rip level 5 giants into pieces. Now, we have managed to get that Dark Elixir, but we are going to calculate the amount of Dark Elixir we actually spent. And it was, once again, just 320 Dark Elixir, which was, of course, for the four Earthquake spells. So this time, we have beaten the previous attack, but what you have to bear in mind is, this is costing a lot more Elixir, guys. The Giants... And of course, the Pekka and the Wizards and maybe a couple of Wall Breakers are going to cost a load more Elixir, not Dark Elixir, Elixir, than the normal Barge Attack. So you kind of have to even it out and say to yourself, do I want to earn a load of Dark Elixir? If so, maybe use this. Or do I want to balance it out and kind of push forward with the Gold, the Elixir and the Dark Elixir? So the first raid managed to take 1,312, the second took just over 1,900, and now we are going in for one of the most famous attack strategies inside of the game, guys, and it's going to be a simple Lunian. Now this is slightly different because there is no Earthquake spells, obviously this is going to be a, uh, an air attack. Now the thing I wanted to do here was just make sure there was nothing inside of the CC and take out their air sweeper because the air sweeper was facing an awkward position, going to cause me to lose a lot of loons. So we are only using haste spells. Now the difference between a haste and a rage is immense. If anyone tells you different than their stupid guys trust me a haste spell has literally nothing on a rage spell rage spell not only is the circumference larger the damage they do is like five times the amount the speed is probably even faster i believe as well in comparison to a level one haste spell i'm talking about speed on a rage spell is a lot faster now with this attack strategy this usually always guarantees you almost access to the core but you do have to be careful with your with your actual uh, hero placements. You've got to make sure you send them in right at the end. I sent the queen in a little bit early there. She still made it into the core, which was great because the minions cleaned up a lot of the buildings on the outside. But if you're not careful and you send the heroes and the minions in together, then the queen, the king, or whoever you send in can actually go ring a ring of roses all the way around the outside of the base and basically get you no damn loot. It's happened to me many times, guys, so learn from someone with experience. Do not send your heroes in too early. So now this attack strategy, obviously, as I said, didn't use any Earthquake spells, but it did use 30 sexy little minions. So now we're going to calculate the actual cost of the minions. Not sure how much they are. I believe there's six Dark Elixir each, which means that's a total of 180 Dark Elixir, which means this raid so far is the best raid to use, the best method to use in order to get yourself Dark Elixir. Do not forget, though, those 32 balloons, max level loons. Forget about the wizards, didn't really need them, just had a couple spare from the previous round. Could have dropped those buggers and put in some archers, maybe even some barbarians. Please remember though, those balloons do cost a damn load of elixir. I'm talking, how much are they? I think they're 4.5k each, if I remember. Are they 4.5? Has Tony got this right? Yes, he has. 4.5 times 32. That's going to be 4,500. That's going to be about 145 to 160,000 elixir for those 32 loons, which in my opinion is just too damn much. So, so far, if we're going to balance it out, obviously the loonian comes in first, the pecker second and the botch comes in third that is for the dark elixir grab however if you are talking about gold elixir and dark elixir there is no way around it the first one and it's always going to be this way is going to be a simple botch unless you're farming in champions league and you're finding like eight nine hundred thousand loot bases then yeah change it up to maybe the second one g wipe or anything along those lines as long as they're max level giants then you're cool you are coolio so as promised, we are about to get ourselves into the final raid. And this is an attack strategy that I feel so many people undervalue when they're trying to farm Dark Elixir. I mean, it's just so heavily undervalued, guys. Seven golems. I mean, you're going to be able to get so much Dark Elixir using a seven golem attack strategy. Eight earthquake spells. Can you find an attack strategy better than this? Yes, guys, this is sarcasm, but we are about to get our booties into a live raid. Okay, so over the last couple of raids, you've seen us attack lower level bases, medium level bases, kind of higher tier bases, but now we're going to go for the dog's bollocks, guys. We are going for the top of the food chain. We're going to go for a pretty much damn max town or 10. Now, the reason why we're going to be able to take on this base is very simple. We have the earthquake spells, and all we need to do is pretty much one, two, three, four, 
going to allow us access into there. And then we're going to drop the other four there. And now we have a straight shot for that town hall. Not the town hall, the bloody dark elixir, baby. Now, the only problem this raid could cause is the fact that there is only seven wizards. There is bloody seven golems. Seven golems and seven wizards. Damn, a wizard gets a golem each. This is going to be awesome. Now, we do have a raid spell. I brought a single raid spell just for the fact that I want this to be fun. I want it to be entertaining for you guys, but I want me, myself, me, myself, and I to enjoy the actual raid. So we are about to drop all seven of these bad bitches here. Now, as I said, this is just going to be awesome, guys. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, this is this is golem porn, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Now, we don't want to send too many of these. What's in the CC? What we got in the CC, baby? Yes, yeah, CC, baby. We're going to kill those little Larrys. Die, you scumbags. Oh, we got some more wizards. Damn. This is what I'm talking about. Go on, my son. Wizards, please go in towards the center. That is it, boys. Send in the last four wizards. There we go. Put us on making their way in. Golems have gone around the bloody base. Are we even going to get the Dark Licks up? No way. No way. This raid is going so bad. Not a single golem went into... Is it going to be all down to the chicas? Not a single golem went into the center. It looks like the chicas are going to have to pull this one out of the bag. The queen has connected onto that expo. Not the expo. The inferno tower, you tit. No. Why did you go for the elixir? Couple of shots on it. You sket. You horrible bitch. Level 18 queen. What is the bloody point of it? Look on the left-hand side. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Five golems. How many golems have we got there? Let's just leave it out to die. Let's rinse this guy's inferno towels and his expos. May as well cost him a bit of elixir. Damn, man. Now, uh, yeah, pretty standard, guys. This is something you don't want to use because, as you can see, the golems are thick as shit. Instead of going for the tazas, which are right in front of them, the expos and the inferno towers, they decide to do a ring a ring a roll this bucket full of poses and go the whole way around the bloody base get no loot, and basically waste my time and money. Time is money inside of this game, guys. You want to farm ASAP. ASAP? You want to farm optimally. You want to get as much loot in as little time as possible, and I'm afraid this attack strategy just doesn't cut it. I've had enough of this, guys. I've had enough of this. So we're going to edit that. Oh, we got a decent amount of elixir, though. Didn't notice that. At least it covered the rage spell, the wizards, the chicas, and what else did we cover? That's pretty much it. So there we go. We have answered the question. What is the best method to farm with proof? This is basically proof, guys. Farm your Dark Elixir. I would say, honestly, Barch with a couple of wall breakers. Always bring Earthquake spells. May not be needed, but if you just need that slight tiny bit of access, guys, you know how long, you know how many troops can be wasted. If you drop in troops on a wall and there's an Archer Tower, not an Archer Tower, sorry, a Wizard Tower or a Mortar behind that wall, you're going to be absolutely rinsed. But if you have instant access into there and you drop in some Barbarians, don't forget Barbarians are going to take a couple of shots off Wizard Towers, Mortars. Unlike the Archers, Archers can die from a single shot sometimes. But if you drop a couple of Barbs in there, you waste that, uh, the waste that splash damage. You've got free access into the core, baby. That is all you need. Just use simple barge attacks. If not, and you're willing to spend a little bit of elixir, then I would suggest using Lunian. I wouldn't suggest using Gigo uh, G Wipe unless your giants are level six plus. Definitely have to be six plus unless you're taking on Town Hall sixes and sevens. Town Hall sixes don't even have dark elixir, Tony. What the hell are you talking about? Unless you're taking on Town Hall sevens. Sorry for blabbing on here, guys, but I'm trying to make a little point here. Definitely use Barch. If you have enjoyed this video and find it helpful, please hit the like button down below. Don't forget to sub to the channel for two videos a day, every single day. I will see you shortly in a couple of hours time, guys. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below how many hours and days are left on the Archie King upgrade. Archie King? Tony is talking shit. I'm going to head off for now, guys. Blabbing on. Peace.